Now after document intelligence is the time we have to focus on Azure AI search. Azure AI search is focusing on the knowledge mining solution. So before we proceed to Azure AI search service, let's focus on what is actually knowledge mining. I'm sure you all are familiar with the search engine like Google, Bing, which are available and we mostly use this kind of search engines on every day to day basis. Now when we have an organization point of view, organizations always have a lot of content. Most of the time the data which is there in the organization is locked away in documents, PDF and handwritten notes. Now when you have to search something through this kind of a documents, it's a time consuming and labor intensive process. And sometimes it's really tough to relate information which you are able to gather from that. Knowledge mining is going to solve this problem because knowledge mining is going to find the insights inside this kind of documents at scale. This is one of the reason you can understand that knowledge mining is actually part of this module with document intelligence service. Because when you have this kind of physical documents, you do not want a manual human who can go and search each and every document and try to get the proper data analysis from that. We have a service which can help you to do that thing. We have a service which is known as Azure AI Search, which is Azure's AI powered knowledge mining platform. This is a solution which provides an access through multiple examples. For example, you're going to search, you're going to provide a bot to answer question, you have a dashboard configuration with this Azure AI Search service, you want to use it for your business applications and you want an availability for further analysis. All of this will be possible with Azure AI Search. Technically, Azure AI Search is internally using document intelligence service. So when you have this kind of physical documents available in your organization, you can add on all this document and the scanned copy of this document, maybe in the PDF format or blob format or some other formats. You can just add on this as a knowledge base. And then this Azure AI Search service is going to help you to search a particular content from this knowledge base. How is actually going to happen? Well, that is what Azure AI Search Solution is providing. So let's deep dive into that. Azure AI Search Solutions basically having three different steps inside that. The step number one is ingest. Obviously, you have to ingest your data. You can maybe ingest a data which is coming from Azure Blob Storage containers where the data is stored in the blob format. It can be a CSV file, it can be a PDF or Word document. You can also ingest data from Azure SQL databases or maybe Cosmos DB where the data is stored in JSON format. Or maybe you can have a data like ADLS Gen 2 or maybe just a tabular format data with Azure table storage. No matter what kind of data you have, first you have to ingest the data. Once the data is ingested, you have to apply AI enrichment on that. This AI enrichment is going to travel through the whole bunch of data is going to create an indexing associations with that. This AI enabled deeper understanding of this document is going to extract the information and patterns from that. If you have some images, diagrams or some other objects associated with those documents, it can be gathered and captured from that. Obviously for this AI enrichment, we are going to use Azure AI services in the background, which can be Azure AI vision service, NLP, or maybe some other document intelligence service which are already covered in this particular course. Once we have this kind of an AI enrichment, to make sure that we are able to search the content from that, we have to configure indexing for that. Indexing is going to make your content searchable and it's going to allow you to perform search tasks in a much faster way. That's the reason the third and the final stage of this is explore. Once your indexes and indexes are configured, you can perform search operations on those indexes. The results which are used inside that can be associated with some data visualization tools like Power BI or some other dashboards, or maybe you can use this data within your application. This whole process of AI enrichment and ingestion, enrichment and explore kind of thing is what Azure AI search service is providing to you. Now, obviously, in these three tasks, the most important and the complex task is going to be AI enrichment because this is what artificial intelligence is taking care of. So this is a part which we need to understand in depth. Now, if I go deep dive into AI enrichment right now, 
you can see right side this is the same kind of a three stages which are visible here the first stage is ingestion where we have a data ingested in different formats into those blobs or adls or sql database the data ingestion is the initial part but after that when ai enrichment is happening what kind of azure ai services it is using that is something which is the most important part so ai enrichment is going to make sure that your contents are going to be more useful for search purpose it's going to have an enriched content which is created with the help of something which is known as skill sets now while configuring ai enrichment you have to configure skill sets now the skill sets are going to recognize entities inside the text maybe you want to associate some translated text you want to evaluate some sentiment analysis whether the statement data is making sure that the statement is positive or negative or neutral maybe you want to have a consume during indexing configuration with this this skill set is going to be produced with enriched document so technically your ingested data and the enriched data is going to have one big difference the enriched data is going to have ai enabled configurations done inside that for different kind of for services of ai is going to be used and then for all the services you have different kind of enrichment which are happening which are known as skill set uh, once you are done with this you are going to have a project which is going to be available to you as a knowledge store that knowledge store is going to have the configurational data which is stored inside that once you have this thing this data is going to be serialized and then it is going to be passed into a search engine for indexing this is a place where indexer and indexing is going to be coming into the place based on the skill set which you have configured you can configure indexes which can have multiple indexes stored inside that indexes are very similar to your column store index which you have done in your sql databases this is going to help you to search for the specific content based on that indexing and then it's going to allow you to search a particular type of document or based on different queries with that most of the time the data which is written from this kind of an indexes are going to be visible in the json format which means that we can incorporate this json data into any application and we can use it as we like now at the end of this particular configurational pipeline we can also have a data sync data sync is nothing but at some targeted location where we want to put the data the difference is this data is going to be an ai enriched data which is ready to be stored somewhere which can be used by one or more applications or data visualization platforms later on this full process of ai enrichment is the heart of your ai search solutions and that is what knowledge mining is all about i strongly request you to deep dive into the demo which is visible for ai search index you need to have a configuration of azure active subscription with that this is a url for Azure AI Search Lab is going to have all the steps associated with that. So please make sure you go through that. It's very interesting. And remember, this is a demo which is focusing on Azure AI Search Index with respect to UI. Means we are going to use Azure Portal in this demo. No complex configuration done through the code. Finally, it's the end of this module, so it's the time to do the knowledge check. If I focus on this knowledge check, we have three questions. I request you to pause your video, guess your correct answer. and then once you are ready you can resume the video and you can check whether your answer is correct or not so these are the correct answers i hope you guessed it correctly i'll see you in the next module thank you